What's going on out there, good people? It is your boy, Look Around with LMD Trading. We are back at it. We are back at it. We are going to be doing another daily trade review today. It's been a minute, like one day. We didn't get our review done yesterday because we were traveling. We are actually over in the lovely land of Ireland. We are in Dublin. Um, flew out yesterday evening. And actually, we had a very long travel day yesterday. Extremely long. And this was not our ultimate destination. Our ultimate destination was London. But because of delays at my home airport and delays at JFK, I ended up missing that flight. And... I was able to get my flights changed over and was able to get on the Dublin, Ireland flight, which was delayed as well. It was it was pushed back maybe three hours. So it was delayed um, pretty good. But I almost made my flight, man. It is crazy. My um, my original flight out of my home airport was delayed about 45 minutes. We sat on the runway finally took off so now we're about an hour behind my layover was exactly an hour and um so we already pushing it we already gonna get to jfk right when my other flight's supposed to be leaving we end up landing at jfk and because of the weather um my my flight to london was delayed 25 minutes so I'm like, okay, let's hurry up. Let's get this thing to the gate. And um, I can go ahead and try to make that flight. So we finally got to the gate after they had to have a tug hook up to us and push us into the gate. Never seen that before, ever. But did that. It was probably three or four people on my flight that were going to London. And um, we all... High tail took off running, had to go from one terminal to another. So we had to catch a shuttle, took that shuttle, made it to the other terminal, took off running. Whoo, you really find out what your shape is like when you're trying to run through the airport to catch another flight. But long story, even made longer but shorter. Um, I got to the terminal and the door was closed to go down the bridge, but it still said boarding. So I'm like, please let this dude come back up. Guess what? He never came back up. Watched the bridge pull off of the plane. And it was probably a good 15 people at that gate all waiting to um, hopefully get on that flight. But dude wasn't having it. He was like, nope, can't open the door back up. We watched the plane get pushed off. At that point now, I'm like, all right, let me just see if I can go somewhere. And luckily, Dublin was the place that I can go. So that's where I'm at. See, I am sporting the King of Vacation shirt because that's what we're doing. This is a um, not a true vacation. I'm staying overnight. So um, we should be back in the air tomorrow. But enough of that. Enough of that. Um, we took trades Wednesday. We did take trades. Um, what we'll do is just look at that on the, um, we'll bypass thumbnail watch list and we'll go straight to trader view. Um, took five trades yesterday. Solid day. Solid day. Took some red ones in there. Took a small green one. But the cues is where we made our money at after 10 o'clock um, you see these first couple of trades more so like scalp trades and they cost us we made nine bucks on apple 35 dollar red on coin 24 dollar red on facebook and then the cues made a move let's see if this will pull it up pull the chart up these were put plays and um, look at what that thing did. This is a two-minute chart here. 
Um, but we see this was the key area right here. When this broke this area, I got excited. Got in a little late right here. That was a little late. Um, by this time, I'm usually looking at the 15 and the five minute chart more so to make my entries on because I'm finding those longer time frames are definitely given better indications as to how the market is going to move as the morning goes on. But we got in um, right here would have been the good play after we missed this candle. Wrote this thing down. Just basically, you know what I always say, chasing it with my stop. Came back up, stopped us out. We see, though, and I'm sure we didn't get stopped out here. This just puts the, the mark there. We got stopped out somewhere in that candle. But we see that it pulled back to about half of this move, not half of the full move, but half of from here to there, and then continued lower. So good solid trades there. And we ended up getting back in and catching the rest of that move in that subsequent trade. So solid trades there. And that's what we did Wednesday. And then let's take a look at Thursday today. And it is, um, what time is it here in Dublin? Dang, it's three o'clock in the States. Five minutes to three. Add five hours to that. It is almost eight o'clock. I need to get out there and go get me something to eat. But let's go ahead and bang these out real quick so I could do that. Took two trades today. Two solid trades. Um, got into Dublin late. It was probably about 12 o'clock local Dublin time. Um, by the time I got to my room, it was close to about um, 10 o'clock trading time. So about 10 o'clock market time, um, got checked in about 11, I probably would say, and um, checked in, freshened up, set up everything, popped the computer open for a quick sec, and saw the SPY and AMD were looking pretty good. So... Um, Tried to find an entry on the SPY, which I did, and then found an entry on AMD. So we took both of those trades. And what we'll do is just go ahead and pull up the charts, get these things reviewed, and we will be on our way. So let's do that. All right, we are back. I see something right off of RIP. We don't have volume turned on. So, bam, let's get the volume turned on. There we go. All right. Um, I do need to do one other thing. Let's go back to Trader View, and I just need to move this over to my other screen. All right, we rocking and rolling. So, let's go ahead. Let's get these two trades reviewed real quick so I can get out here, grab me a pint as they like to say over here in Ireland, and get me something to eat. So, we have the spy pulled up. I don't have my glasses on. Dang, these numbers are tiny. All right, let's blow this up real quick. Just take a peek at it. So, look at what the spy has been doing all day. It's been on a tear. We see that it came over here right about 10 o'clock came almost touched prior days low and just been ripping ever since broke VWAP pretty much has not looked back kind of curling over as the as the um, day is about to end it's kind of kind of rolling over and it did that a few times up in here but um we took this trade at 12 18 12 18. Man, see, this is, I am using, I'm going to do this one a little different real quick. Nope, we can't do that. This is what happens when we are doing it from a computer that I rarely use to do my 
recap something, which is my laptop. But we got in this trade at 12.18. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put where we got in and where we got out. And then we'll look at the different charts on it. See, see what we're looking at. So we got in this one at 12.18. So that candle there. And we held this thing a good little ways. We got out of this at 12.59. Man, I need glasses bad. Twelve fifty nine. Where are you at twelve fifty nine? Right there. So we got out in this candle right here. So we saw this thing made this nice move up here. It pulled back. It came up and set a double top. Set a double top. Didn't like that. Move my stop up. Stop this out. Came back. Set a triple top. This any other day would make you think this might be headed down, but it came down to right here, and the buyer stepped back in and just took it back off again. So solid trade. We made made fifty bucks on that trade. Two R. Not a bad trade, not a bad exit, I don't think. Let's go ahead, let's take a peek at AMD. And that's again, that's that's on the one minute. Before we do that, let's switch this over. Let's see what it looks like on the five and the 15. Those would have been my higher time frames that I'm looking at. So the entry would have been as it broke this area right here. So got in a little early. We got in as it broke the, the, the body of the candle, not the wick. And we see this was the M top. That was the M top that we were seeing. Came up. It didn't set a new high off of this. So we were seeing this to roll back over. Did. Look at this, though. Think about if you had your stop right there. That thing peekaboo stopped you and then kept going. That's why. Um, they say it's an area. So if you want your stop to be right there, why not go ahead and give it a few extra cents? What is that? That's 74. That was a, eh, what's that? About 18 cents, I guess that is. No, 8 cents, I'm sorry. 8 cents, so 60, 74, 10 cents. So that was 10 cents. That thing came, stops you out and would have took you out of the trade, depending on where you got in the trade. At. But that's what it looked like on the five. I actually took this off of the 15, which it was just kind of just, or no, I'm sorry. I did not. I was been off of the five. It's, it was in this 15 candle that we ended up getting out of it. So yeah, 15 ain't showing nothing. Ah, hold on. Hold on. Let's get over where we're at. There we go. That's why I said it was just in kind of a grind up when we got in. So that was that little getting in early right there. That was that tail that you see on the five minute. But solid trade nonetheless. Solid trade. Let's take a peek at AMD. Let's see what AMD was doing. Again, we're going to switch this over to the one minute real quick, just so that we can put our entries and our exits on here. So this one we got in at 1227. Let's find 1227. Twelve twenty-seven. There we go. So again, I would not have been getting in, of course, off of this one-minute chart that late. Uh, not off the one-minute chart usually at all. I'm trying to find these down at the bottom. I can look up top. It's a little easier. Twelve forty-two. So we're getting out as this this red candle was making its move. Let's take a peek at the big picture. 
And we'll do that on the five minute. We'll take a peek at the big picture on the five. Look at what AMD did. Open broke over previous days high. You will always hear me say that this is a key area when you get support and it takes off. Took off, came, kind of consolidated, pull back. We got in as it broke this area. That's what we saw on the chart. It breaking that area right there. Played it up. And it kind of pulled back right there and just kind of stopped us out. But look at what it kept doing. And this one here, after I was done trading, I was just kind of glancing over at the um, right here, seeing what the uh, last was. That thing had gotten up to about $5 and some change right there. That was a very nice move. Very nice move. Um, and it's up to 109. Had a high of 109. That's pretty good. I like seeing that because, again, this is one that I keep in my long-term portfolio. So um, looking forward to the market recovering from this downturn. But those were our two trades today. Um, two and done, both of them green. I don't think I'll be getting any trading in tomorrow. I fly out around noon local time, which is 10... Seven, which is seven o'clock Eastern time, and five hour flight coming might be a little longer going back because we're probably gonna have a headwind. So I doubt I'll get any trading in tomorrow. Um, so if I don't, y'all have a good weekend and hope y'all enjoyed the recap. If you have not already hit the like button, please do so. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Uh, I look to make these videos daily, unless, of course, I am not able to. So I appreciate y'all checking me out. Again, hit that like button if you haven't already done so. And um, we're going to wrap this one up. Y'all have a good day. Peace.